Hello everyone, this is Akai, and welcome to my new Let's Play. This is going to be an older game. I'm actually kind of curious how old this game is. This game is old. This was out for the Xbox. It is obviously Star Wars Republic Commando. Uh, this was uh, requested uh, by Pinsir of Fate. Uh, he was the only one that requested it, so I decided to go ahead and go with this. This is going to be kind of a jog down memory lane. Uh, it's been a long time since I played this. Now, I did have to use my Xbox 360 to actually play this game. Uh, the Xbox One would not recognize it. There was no way that it was backwards compatible. So I had to bring out my Xbox 360. Um, so yeah, the graphics are very dated. Still a fun game uh, from what I remembered. Um, now, I am a little bit nervous. It's going to be near the end. Uh, I, I remember it... Uh, freezing and be having a bug uh, for whatever reason uh, not being able to finish so hopefully we can actually finish this game and not have that much issue but let's go ahead and actually get started now this has been a very long time uh, since I've played this uh, so let's go ahead and get started uh, with this and we'll just call it oh just call it YouTube um, now I, I will say that it's semi blind because uh, like I said, it's it's been a while. It's 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 been a while since I've played this game uh, But I remember having fun. I remember enjoying it and playing hours on end now This game does have a cheat code to it and I still have the cheat code uh, the cheat code I believe gives you invincibility Something like that I'm pretty certain and I just deleted everything. Okay. Go me. Let's see sometimes. Really? There's no backspace. Wow, the times have not been kind to this. Uh, well, I'll just call it you, just to get going. All right, so let's go ahead. Okay, and let's get started. All right, so new game. Uh, it looks like I'll just be starting at the very beginning. It's been a while since I've played this game. Um, I don't even remember how it starts. Uh, hopefully it won't be that difficult. I don't even know if it allows me the, uh, ability to change mode. Welcome, little one. This is your first day. Your designation will be RP-01-138. We expect great things from you. You have been born into dangerous times. A sharp mind can be the key to survival. But as often as not, it will be your inherent physical traits that win the day. And in this regard, you will be superior to your more common brethren. For you are a commando, an elite unit, something truly special. Your weapons, your armor, and most importantly, your brothers. The Eifer of our world hunt in pods to bring down much larger prey. So too shall you join the three brothers and become fierce hunters for the Republic. Now, join your pod and embrace your destiny as their leader. Join Delta Squad. Delta Foro, your foundation. A pure and uncomplicated soldier. 6-2, the heart and soul of your team. And 07, the fiercest hunter of all your brothers. You are each a piece of a whole person. And the Republic will call you to defend and give your lives if need be. Now I will have to say the graphics have not been kind. 
Um, I'm gonna try not to talk too much during like cutscenes as I normally do. Um, so if you do not know what's happening, uh, this is a game based on obviously the Star Wars franchise. Uh, this is occurring right before the invasion of, um, uh, oh good lord, Gen Geonosis. It took me a little bit. So this, we are actually currently going into the Clone Wars. So this is the start of the Clone Wars. And we are the leader of a elite squad called uh, Commandos. Um, obviously, we've met our brothers. Um, and this is, a, it's a good game. Like, it's a good strategy game. Uh, the Republic's secret weapon, a massive clone army, is deployed for the first time against the separate destroyed forces. Far above the carnage, the elite commandos of Delta Squad prepare for their first mission. Zero Hour, Clone Wars, Geonosis. Alright, so, um, it's... It's 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 basically what would be a game uh, where you are uh, working together as a squad, so you can command your units. You'll see as we go. It's nice to see they finally unhooked you from the simulators. I've been assigned as your advisor, and will be your eye in the sky until further notice, or we all get killed. Once you're on the ground, you will rendezvous with Delta Squad. Delta Six Two is nearby. Your first objective is to find him and link up. The squad objective remains. Find Sun Fak and eliminate him. I will be issuing further orders as you go. Good luck, Commando. Alright, so our mission objective is to find the Chief Lieutenant Sun Fak. Uh, must be eliminated. eliminated. Delta Squadron has been inserted separately into the war-torn war gladiatorial arena and points beyond. They must rendezvous and affect Sun Fak's removal by any means necessary. So let's actually okay, start this. This is our very first mis mission. Like I said, the uh, graphics haven't been particularly nice to this. Uh, I would definitely love to see a remake. Uh, oh my god, the controls. Oh wow. Uh, let's see. Let's see, we can punch. And it looks like they are saving checkpoints. Why is jump? That's so weird. Uh, but we'll get a little bit more into it. Uh, let's actually carry on. It looks like we just took a hit. Ooh, wow. Oh, wow. Poor, our poor uh, friendlies are going down. Uh, back to dispensers, we have a, re a heal station. Uh, a is used to basically uh, operate everything. Oh, my word. This feels so, so weird. Um, and... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. The graphics. The controls feel probably the worst. That's probably what feels the weirdest. Uh, the controls are not what I'm thinking they would be. Uh, let's see. Objective tracker. Yeah, that's kind of obvious. And it looks like they were destroyed. Oops. There's a Geonos in. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think we can just keep going. And it looks like there's some ammo. And let's see, we are needing to uh, secure the uh, crash, crash, crash site around here, good lord. And also meet up with our brothers. Uh, let's see. We take out these droids. Oh, good lord. There we go. Uh, there are obviously explosive tanks. Uh, kind of a normal gimmick that you would normally see in uh, these games. Now, I'm pretty certain my younger self uh, probably would be, like, easily uh, beating me at this game, going a lot quicker than what I'm going. I'm definitely not uh, very accustomed to it. Yay, commando units are here. Let's go, brothers. Yep. Droids and bugs. There we go. Take out some droids there, and weird saving. 
kind of actually annoying there. Alright, uh, let's see. Oh, oh, hello. Now I think we do have a gun. Maybe, yeah, the, the gun, the gun on, or better yet, this commando gun is a really interesting gun. It's a really good, cool idea uh, that they use, uh, even though we never see it in uh, any of the actual universe. Good lord, my aim is terrible. I know my aim is terrible. Wow. All right. Uh, making our way over here. The Genosian. Those guys are actually a pain in the butt to deal with. All right, should have a new gun gun uh, up ahead here. Let's actually show off uh, the punch mechanic, which I really do enjoy. It's a one-hit kill, and we have some grenades. And this is talking about grenades, yes. Oh, wow. I really got it in one throw. I am impressed with myself. Good lord. And my aim is terrible. My aim is quite terrible. Uh, it's going to take me a little bit just to get accustomed to these controls. So you'll have to forgive me uh, as we go. Alright. I completely missed. Are you kidding me? Oh, look at this. This is so cool. That's the coolest thing is you have a automatic uh, windshield wiper on your face mask. Alright, we're on to viewing with 6-2. And we have a crouch. Yep, that's normal. Let's keep going. Some ammo here, some back to tanks. We're full on ammo, which is good. And there is 6-2. I like 6-2. I like 6-2 and 07. So this is going to be the main gimmick of the game is commanding your unit. Uh, telling them what to do. Uh, name 62, nickname Scorch, status commando, Delta Squadron, or Delta Squad. Scorch prefers an explosive solution above all others. His preference, uh, preference weapon is the DC-17 anti-armor attachment. So obviously uh, he is our, our explosive man. Explosion. Explosion? Explosive man? <laughs> Alright. So now we actually have the main gimmick. And I just hit the mic. So this is going to be the main gimmick of this game uh, is obviously commanding. So we can tell Scorch to go uh, set up demolition. And he is going to quickly do that. Is obviously going to take a little bit of time. You can see at the counter on the bottom left hand of our screen, we have a little indicator that he is taking. And with that, we can actually detonate it. There we go. And there we go. See, I love this game. This game with this mechanic is very cool. And I just threw a grenade. <laughs> I feel like my brother. Uh, my brother does this to uh, to me all the time where he accidentally throws a grenade um, because he's unaccustomed to the controls. Yeah, it, it happens. But it looks like we are almost here. And we have a spider walker. Fortunately, we're going to have friendly fire uh, take care of that for us. So good we do not have to deal with that now i don't know how long this episode is going to be um i'm hoping it's not going to be too long and it looks like scorch is coming along very very nicely uh, i think i might actually end this episode here um we did start the let's play actually no i'm gonna keep going uh for a little bit longer um we'll meet up with the rest of our group and then we will go from there. So, into the hive. Sev, keep your eye on 62. He's packing a lot of high impact bromance. Did I see bromance? I don't know if I actually saw bromance. Alright, now the fun begins. We are inside the Geonosian hive. And we are making our way to get to 4-0. Delta 4-0. I can't remember what his name he doesn't like anything but his designation number. So, oh, <laughs> oops, oh crap. Oh yeah, I can tell my squad to heal up. Uh, I think they'll automatically do that if you are actually near a 
delta tank i think they'll automatically but you can tell them to heal uh, obviously that uh, indicator down at the bottom green means healthy yellow means slightly damaged and red means um very damaged let's see There we go, take out that droid, and we can tell him to set the bomb. Actually, can I set it? No. Oh, wow, I can't. Oh, wow, I can't. I can actually do that. I completely forgot I can do that. Uh, so, you can delegate tasks. So, you can get your team, your uh, squad mates to do it, or you can do it yourself. Uh, just depends the situation. I'm trying to remember what the controls are. That's no. Okay, let's go ahead and detonate. Anytime, boss. Yeah, I I also like like I said, I like Delta Squad. Um, six two. Uploading and linking with your visor, sir. And now we have Delta four zero. Uh, nickname is Fixer. Fixer. Uh, status commander Commando Delta Squad. Yeah. 40 has a knack for slicing computer systems to bypass security. His preferred weapon is the Katarin Armor Gauntlet Vibro Blade. And obviously he's our geek. He's our nerd. Uh, he's going to work the best as far as taking care of computers. Now I don't know if the AI automatically designates which character will go for computers or anything like that. Uh, the squad icon displays each member's current commando or maneuver and location. The color of the icon will show their current health. Uh, so he does need a little bit of health. And I, I have to say, I love the interaction between uh, the uh, the different uh, our different commandos. I like. I, I really do like uh, Delta Six Two. He's probably one of my more favorites. He's the funny one. <laughs> he kind of reminds me of um, Mikey uh, from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. That's who he reminds me of the most. Let's see. Yep, we can just continue on our way. And it looks like we're making our way. We're almost there. Let's go ahead and set up a charge. And it looks like Scorch automatically went for it. Now, once again, I don't know if he's the one that will automatically do it every single time, but... Anytime. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Well. Oh, well. That works. I uh, got some Geonos in. And where are you going? Come here. Uh, blow them up. There we go. Very nice. Take out these droids. And a little bit of slow down there. Oops, I just hit my friendly. It's not particularly a good thing. Now this game, like I said, is a little bit older. Alright, uh, we need to get someone to blow up that. Uh, we can blow up these guys. There we go. Very, very nice. Or a grenade. Uh, grenades are very, very nice. And he's almost done. Let's go ahead and blow it up. And we can continue on. Good lord, that explosion. Alright, he's he he's healed up. Uh, we can continue on. Now, I don't remember. Uh, whoa, slow down there. I don't remember. Oh, yes. It's one of my bumpers, which is actually really weird because it's, once again, on a much older system, which was the original uh, Xbox. Actually, it was for the Xbox. Oh, my word. Holy crap, this game's old. I actually said that wrong. I said it was for the 360. No, it's actually for the Xbox. Uh, this is one of the few games that uh, was allowed to be backwards compatible uh, for the Xbox 360. Being very intelligent. Uh, this will become more hectic. I mean, obviously, right now it's not too bad. Uh, with only these simple droids attacking us. Hold on. Hold on. What's the other way? <laughs> I'm curious now. What's the other way? Oh, just ammo. Okay. Ammo, which I don't really need. 
All right, looks like that's actually the objective we're supposed to be going for. Uh, so let's quickly take these guys out. And they were automatically doing that. Okay, so that's taken care of. Uh, obviously, our guys are doing a fantastic job. Uh, we need to protect our dudes. If they are doing something, they will not defend themselves. Uh, they'll just stand there and take the damage. So we do need to defend ourselves or defend our friendlies uh, whenever uh, they are doing a mission for us. There we go. Opened up a way. Okay, I'm trying to shoot. It's not really working. And so now I think it's actually talking about different, uh, different uh, orders you can give. So if we press A, this should uh, give us different orders. So this is really cool. So we can form up. Uh, so I can tell them to go over yonder and secure that area, or I can tell them to actively search and destroy. But we're going to go ahead and tell them form up. Uh, I think that will be the best idea. Let's see. And let's keep going. Take out these droids as quickly as possible. And looks like we are taking a little bit more damage. Oh, oh, no wonder. I was like, I was wondering where we were getting shot at from. Uh, let's see. Take out these droids. And I completely missed <laughs> with, the, the, with the bunt of my web vibro, vibro blade. That's what, that's what it's actually technically called, I guess. All right. Um, I think when I can, I'm gonna actually going to end the episode off. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode off here and now. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Do hit that like button, uh, especially for my very first uh, episode of this let's play uh, I don't know how the ending is going to turn out so hopefully I won't have that issue later on but thank you guys so much for watching and if you like what you saw hit the like and subscribe subscribe button you guys have a great and fantastic day Zai Jen.